Hey everyone, I'm gonna come here just to talk about my 4th of July experience. It was actually pretty crazy and I wasn't really sure if I should videotape this but I kind of want to because I feel like there was a lot that happened and I feel like you guys would be really really interested in hearing it. Um, some of the things that happened were kind of crazy but and overall it was really really fun weekend. I really enjoyed it. It was fun that I haven't had in a long time. Which is weird so I kind of want to come and talk to everybody about it so the weekend for the jolly weekend we kind of started with a barbecue it was fun with family and friends and then I kind of was hesitant because I really want to stay but I found out recently that there's this club that I got in and I'm going to tell you guys just a little bit about the experience so, we kind of set up the club. Um, I wasn't really sure I would get in, but I have a friend that always goes there, and he's the same age I am. So he said, hey, I get in all the time. I don't have to worry about it, right? So, obviously my sister, she's older. She can get into bars. She can get clubs. She was freaking out the whole time about, oh my gosh, we're going to get caught. And there's so many cops outside that... I was kind of scared because it is 4th of July weekend and people are out more patrolling because, you know, the, my sister lives in a big city, so uh, there's a lot of stuff that's happening. And she lives right slap dab in downtown, so everybody was out when we were trying to walk to the club. Everybody was out. Everybody was having a good time, so I think it would have been a little more cautious that we wouldn't go out to the club, but we did go out to the club. Okay, we did go out to the club. And I don't regret it at all because I had so, so, so much fun. So basically, I'm going to break it down how it happened. I won't tell you guys the name of the club, but I'm not going to lie. I did have my pictures taken by the photographer, so they're probably up there. Um, so that's kind of weird. But um, So basically, the night ended up, we are going to this club. And um, the club, I was kind of surprised because, you know, in our state, I think it's in all cities or states, basically, that when you're not 21, you're, like, your driver's license is, like, vertical, and then when you turn 21, it goes sideways, but I can't even fake it, like, I was like, well, you know what, the worst thing I can do is just lie, so I'm gonna just be confident, show him my driver's license, show him, like, because I'm 20, so I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm 18 or 17 trying to get into the club, like, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm only a couple of months from turning 21, well, actually, a lot of months, kind of next year, but, um, I was like, okay, let's do this, so he showed his ID, he got in, and he's only six months older than me, so he showed his ID, he got in, my sister showed her, his, um, her ID, and I was like, oh my gosh, now this is motherfucking game time, like, I gotta show with the straight face, go in there, act like, you know what? Check my ID, boo. Check my ID. And so he looked at my ID, but I don't think he looked at it that hard. Because he looked at it, and he was like, oh, shoot, you just turned 21. And I'm like, yeah, like, I'm out to party. So I was like, okay, so this guy obviously doesn't, like, look at anything or really pay attention to anything. So I was kind of fine with that. So we went to the club, my sister was like, oh my gosh, how did you get in, and I was like, well, that's how I do, so, of course, I get into the club, I'm like, whoa, I have full access to the bars, I have a full access to everything, and I never really had that experience, because in case, so, we went out to the club, I got drinks, I had my first Wells experience, didn't think about was all that, you know, drank, dance, it was so much fun, and it was popping, like, it was popping, and I can't even, no, like, I can't even describe how popping it was, like, it was so much fun, to the point of, like, whoa, um, crazy craziness, but, yeah, obviously, I just wanted to come talk to you guys about how fun that experience was, and definitely, because I feel like I can only go to that guy, that let me in, like, I'm not gonna try to go to, like, other people, because I feel like that's really weird, 
but um, I definitely know now how the whole club scene is um, here in like America, kind of, or in a big city. And kind of just wanted to tell you guys that story of how oh the club went. Um, it was kind of really cool to see how like everybody interacted here in. Every club is the same, honey. No matter what country you go to, they all skeezy. <laughs> at, the end, at the end of the day, they're all, like, really skeezy clubs. Everybody is trying to get something. Oh, it's a free drink. Girl, guy. Like, people are trying to go out there. Have fun. But, like, people have agendas. So, kind of want to tell you that side of the story. But I won't go really into detail. Yes, I told you I danced with some guys. But... I ain't gonna try to be sound selfish my now because I don't wanna sound like that. But I felt like when I went to the club, I thought it was so easy to get drinks. Nah. And it ain't that easy. It's not that easy as I thought it would be. But um either way, I had a lot, a lot of fun. We ended up walking home. Um, and a really sweet guy actually bought us a taxi, which was really nice. And actually what he paid for the taxi was, like, less than what the fare was. The taxi guy was so sweet that he was like, hey, you know what? He offered, he paid for you, so you guys don't have to worry about it. I came home. Um, kind of, like, really good experience to see people, like, even though it is a big city and we were in downtown, that people, like, he saw us, that he was like, hey, I'm going to be really nice. He never even gave us his name. He was just like, hey, guys, don't worry about it. You guys are queens. You don't deserve to walk. You just guys need to go home. And I really thought that was a really sweet end to the night. But let me tell you, when I went to bed here, I literally could not sleep. Because my feet hurt so, so bad that literally every single time I moved, I was like, oh my gosh, the pain on my feet from walking to the club, to dancing up in the club, to walking halfway home from the club. I was like, how do these girls, like, I'm like, I understand why these girls take off their shoes because it's so painful. Like, I'm like, my feet hurt so bad. Like, I don't even think, like, I literally have blisters on my feet. Like, that's how bad it was. But I have to say, overall, it was just an amazing, amazing experience that I had. And that's kind of why I want to express and kind of tell you guys. Because even though, like, I and just have fun. Party in moderation. Just do all that stuff. But don't forget to live because that's what life is about. Just don't forget about it. So, thanks everybody for watching my video. Um, there's definitely more coming out. If you like it, like it, and definitely subscribe. Um, I'm just starting out here YouTubing and vlogging and kind of doing, um, not vlogging, but blogging actually on my blog. So I'll link everything down in the description box so you guys can follow me more adamantly, I think. Yes. I'm going to get out of the school for a little bit. I just finished my summer classes, and I feel like I literally lost everything. But, um, so, if you guys just, just talk to me, I'm here, and I'll be posting regularly. Thank you so much.